Hey, good morning, y'all. Good morning. So, we over here at the gas station. We're fixing to uh, get a little gas, uh, some mix. I ain't got a lot going on today, uh, but we got enough to where we can generate about five or six hundred dollars, you know. Uh, and uh, yeah. So I had. So I had one guy come in the comments talking about, well, man, you guys can't make no money if they uh, only working, you know, four or five hours a day. Again, <sighs> come on, man. Get off the hourly thing, man. I mean, yes, we can. And yes, he can make good money in five or six hours, four to six hours, whatever. If you're of the simple mind that you're looking at how many hours we work, then you're missing the whole point of being in business for yourself. The whole point. You might as well go work for the man. I don't pay by the hour. And I don't let people pay me by the hour. So the hourly rate is irrelevant. If we broke it down by the hour, sometimes these guys make, you know, $40 an hour. Sometimes they'd make $25 an hour. Sometimes they'd make $15 an hour. I don't do it by the hour. We do it by the efficiency, by what the business makes. So for all you simple-minded, hourly people, good God, man, get a life, dude. You know? If, if, if he can make as much money as you make in four or five hours, by by working smart then we don't have to work a lot of hours not that the hours are really even relevant i mean it doesn't even matter i ought to make make the uh the word hourly a, cur a curse word in my dictionary because hourly is for the simple-minded people that want to work for the man <coughs> All right, y'all, so we're at the first one. Uh, it's one I've been kind of doing it by myself. I think I've had uh, both come out here and help me just a couple times, you know. Uh, but the owner here, she's real cool, man. And she's been uh, been a customer of mine for a really long time. And uh, she, 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 she wants me to spray. <laughs> so, yeah. And, you know, I love spray. <laughs> I love spray. Uh, so yeah, she pays so good too. Uh, so I got the new guy in the back. So a couple things I want to go over real quick with you guys. Uh, so I did order me a uh, a landscape rake, power rake. Uh, they were really hard to find, uh, and I got uh, I bought a demo unit. Uh, the demo unit uh, that I bought. Uh, retails for ninety six hundred dollars, and I got it for seventy five hundred. And I also got uh, the side plates and all too, uh, because I like to be able to corral the dirt. So you know, uh, a little bit of a you know a little bit of a gamble, but you know, got to be willing to gamble out here, man, a little bit, you know. And uh, and you know, uh, I got this new guy out here. Hopefully. Uh, uh, me and him can can uh, do a lot of work and you know now that I see that I got a guy that wants to come to work and wants to learn is eager to be out here then I'm gonna make sure that I put the business in the best scenario to be able to generate work so well, that's one of the main reasons why I bought the, the, the power rate you know because I know I got a guy out here that uh, that wants to work and so now I won't mind generating work Plus, I don't like renting anything anyway. Y'all know that. Uh, so, uh, if you're not willing to invest money in the business, then you're probably not going to be able to keep guys on. Uh, because, you know, like right now, I, I don't really have to work, uh, you know, for the winter if I don't want to. Uh, I mean, but I always do, of course. But just kind of throwing that out there. So, uh, I had rather spend, you know, the $7,500 on, on an attachment uh, for the skid steer. 
uh, than uh, than not. And because I got a few jobs I can do with it, I could probably generate about four grand with it uh, right now as we speak. And I haven't even really even you know tried to do anything with it. You know, tried to to market any kind of uh, power raking work. Power rake is a big deal, and it, it, it can make a job a lot easier. But anyway, uh, so I got a new kid. He's in the back back there. Uh, I cut a piece for me to part right here. I'm finna get on the grass. We got the Skag and the X-Mart here today. Uh, and yeah, we're with it, man. All right, guys, so, so I'm over here on one of my regular lawn jobs, you know. Uh, it's about 20 minutes from my house. And we're, you know, we're cutting the grass and everything. I've been doing this property for a long time. Y'all been over here before. But this tree fell and she had a guy come in here and he cut it off, you know, uh, and, but I want y'all to look at all this freaking wood, man. Are you freaking serious, man? Look at all that, dude. And this is big stuff, you know, uh. Now, this could be an opportunity, uh, or it could be a liability. Uh, there's a lot of wood in here. It looks like some hickory right there uh, for firewood, okay? Now, she told me that I could bring the skid steer over here, and she'd give me 500 bucks, uh, you know, and I could keep all the wood that I wanted. What do y'all think, man? Is it worth it to me? Of course, I would have to bring the skid, uh, the skid steer, the grapple bucket, uh, and a dump trailer. Of course, that will require the other truck. And I could come in here, man, and I could cut these logs off. Y'all see how big this stuff is, man? And you could sell this as firewood. That would create a that would create a lot of work. But it's, you're right. I know what you're thinking. Damn right, that's a lot of work. And for 500 bucks. Uh, or, or you know she she she's not trying to hire anybody to do anything with it. It's in the woods uh, behind her house, but she's saying that you know if I wanted to come and get the woods that she'd break bread with me, give me five hundred and uh, I could have all the wood that I wanted, or you know she'd just leave it here. Not a big deal. So I don't know y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think and but the kids kids there come right in right here and right up to this and i grab all that i'd have a low before i even had to make a cut you know but keep in mind i got the skid steer lock splitter you know i mean there's a lot of wood over in here you know i can come right in here with a grab bucket pick this up put it on the dump trailer pick that up put it on the that i mean there's i would i mean it's a pretty good bit of wood now i don't know that i'd want this but with a skid steer lock splitter I can split anything. So, what do y'all think, man? Y'all leave me a comment, man. Tell me what y'all think, man. I mean, how, how much wood is that in firewood? How many cords is that? So, it's a lot. And anything that's leaning, too, I'd go on and pull it on down. Yeah. I don't know, man. All right. So, like the... It's only like the third or fourth... Yeah, third one. Uh... But, but we're not doing all lawns today. We're doing uh, we got a little tree cleanup that we got to do. Uh, not a big deal. It ain't, you know, nothing, nothing we're doing is that hard. The weather's very friendly for us too. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. The new kid picked right up where he left off at yesterday. Doing good. Uh, we got done today. Uh, me and the new kid, man, we, we, we're, we're, we're doing it, man. Uh, today was another uh, good, thoughtful, efficient day. And, you know, hey. Uh, that's what we like, man. We like efficiency. Uh, we like, uh, you know, making it happen out here, man. Making it happen. There's always a want to be in the comments. 
Always. I love it. I love it. He coming in the comments saying, and I know y'all tell me not to pay attention to the comments. So, got a guy coming in the comments saying, well, man, four or five hours is six hours. Uh, you know, quitting after six hours, and can't nobody make a living doing that. Really, man, you're ignorant than I thought, man. You're more ignorant than I thought. You know, I, I mean, I knew you was you was, you was kind of ignorant, but you really ignorant. You can work till six or seven o'clock if you want to every day. Ray ain't gonna do that. Ray don't have to because see, we're efficient. You know, he goes on to say, you know, hours or something about hours. I don't even hear the word hours or hourly. I don't even hear that. Because I don't work by the hour. Do you? I don't. I'm not going to work by the hour. That's, that, that that goes against everything. If I was going to work by the hour, y'all, I'd go, go, go on and get me a job somewhere working by the hour. I don't pay by the hour. I don't work by the hour and I don't pay by the hour. It's the simple-minded folks like this cat coming in here saying that we quit after four or five hours you can't get enough hours in what's the hours got to do with anything it ain't got nothing to do with nothing hours don't have anything to do with nothing it don't and how do you know what my arrangement is with him how do you know that you know i mean i don't see how you know that you know Hourly rate is irrelevant when you're out here. Now, everybody can run their business however they want to. I don't pay by the hour, okay? I don't I don't even think about hourly rate. I don't. I, I mean, it has no... How long we work versus how much money the guys make is irrelevant. I don't know why everybody always thinks hourly rate is like law <laughs> you know what i'm saying is it because you were raised or we as society were raised to and everything was based on what we make hourly is that what it is, is i don't I, I mean I, I really don't know uh because i ain't worked by the hour in years you know uh if I work by the hour out here, it's because I don't know how to bid on a job or whatever, you know. I don't, so when you come into comments and you say things like quitting after four or five hours, can't nobody make no money like that. Ain't nobody quitting after four or five hours. We have completed the task at hand. That's what we've done after four or five hours. It ain't my fault that we're efficient. I know how much the business is going to make when I get in the truck in the morning. Now, it's up to us to put ourselves in the best scenario to make that money in a minimal time. And if you work for yourself, I would think, now I don't know, I would think that everybody loosely thinks like that. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. It doesn't matter how, how, how long. It matters what you make. It matters how much money you're generating. Only simple-minded folks are going to come at Ray like that. Because you work by the hour, and you were raised to work by the hour. Your folks work by the hour. Your grandfolks work by the hour. And society has taught you to work by the hour. That's all you know. I don't work by the hour. So, you know, is it, it, and I thought that everybody that watches the channel knew that. We didn't quit after five or six hours or whatever you said. And you use words like quit. Nobody quit. We finished today's task. We just happened to finish so early. Yeah, we just happened to be efficient. Just like today. See that? See that, son? Yeah, yeah, that that clock ain't wrong either, man. And that's how we roll. You can roll however you want to roll. I don't care. You know, you can you you can work till you can work twenty four seven if I, if you want to. It don't matter to me. 
I don't pay the guys that work for me by the hour. So, and I know, I know, man, you're used to making so much money per hour, and that's okay. You can do that. You can live like that. I'm telling you and preach to the channel all the time that working by the hour is not efficient. Working by the hour does not promote efficiency. I'm not going to pay by the hour. So this hourly thing that, that you keep coming into comments with, worried about what somebody's making by the hour, how much money they're making, how do you know that that today uh, or yesterday, was that the video you're referring to, how do you know uh, that that uh, we didn't work uh, five or six hours and the average pay was $35 an hour? Because that, I mean, it could be that, you know, based on the efficiency, based on the money generated by the business. Got to be efficient. Now, I know a guy like you, you ain't efficient. You are used to working for somebody like Big Daddy. And, you know, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. You know, but don't come in and critiquing and, and talking and talking all that mess to to me. What you need to be doing, you need to, you need to pull your pad out and take notes on how I get to the same or more money by two thirty that you work till five or six to get. That's what you need to be doing instead of trying to critique the business model because you're not on that level, dude. You're not even close to that level. Just saying, if you're critiquing it, you're not. That means that means you're not there yet. Keep striving, baby. You'll one day you'll understand what Ray's talking about. I just don't. I, I mean, I I, I I don't understand. I mean, they they just ignorant folks everywhere. Everywhere I look, I'm do, I'm dodging and ducking uh, ignorant, ignorant folks. You know. Oh, did I tell you that I don't work by the hour? I think I said that right. And if you don't understand that, that tells me so much. It tells me that you're probably not in business for yourself. It tells me you're probably not a landscaper. It tells me that you work for the man. Nothing wrong with that, buddy. You can work for the man all you want. But you can't compare working for the man to working out here for yourself. Can't, it ain't, it's not even comparable. And you're showing your ignorance when you make when you make sidewindery ass comments. So you're showing your ignorance. I mean, you know, I mean, that's what you're showing. You're not showing my ignorance because I'm still doing it. And it's still and it's still two twenty five, and we're done. And I'm good. Good. I'm good. Trust me. I'm good. What you should do is you should start your own channel and show everybody how you pay people since you're so smart. You should show everybody how successful you are since you're so successful in your way of doing things. Let's see what kind of equipment you got. Let's see what kind of accounts you got. Let's see, let's see what kind of business model you got. Oh, oh, you don't want to, oh, you don't want, oh, you don't want to, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. It takes a certain type individual to come on YouTube and put it all out there. You know, I put it all out there, man. All out there. No matter. It is what it is. I ain't got nothing to hide. Nothing to hide. I pay taxes too. Nothing to hide. I'm not in mama's basement. I'm not worried about what mama thinks. I'm not worried about what daddy thinks. I'm not worried about none of that. Because what I go through and what my channel is about is the way is what I go through out here, in 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 the day to day running of a long landscape business where I live at. It ain't what he goes through, and it ain't what he goes through, and it ain't what you go through. It's what I go through. Facts. I mean, I'm not an actor, so you know. I get so sick of people coming at me with about hourly and how much time and time and time and time. 
talking about the guys and what they make per hour or are they paying taxes or this or that ask them folks that better yet ask them why they keep coming out here but what you need to do is you need to get off granny's couch and start your own youtube channel instead of holding your sack on mine just saying stupid shit pan just stupid you know you sound like one of these other guys that used to work for me Are you sure you ain't done that you sure you ain't one of them because that's what you sound like ignorant worried about how many hours you spend instead of worrying about being efficient and doing your job correctly so you can make more money you're worried about how many hours you're working or not working i'm not gonna work 12 hours a day and make the same money that if I do if I work five or six. And there's a lot more to going, there's a lot more going on out here than what you see and what you think. There's a lot more behind the scenes things going on, the reason uh, going on that you don't know about, because again, you're ignorant. If I wasn't behind the scenes after hours, you know, it's 2.20, well, I'm not done. I might be done out in the field, but I'm not done manipulating the schedule for the rest of the week you know why because that's how i get done faster than you and that's how I come i make more money than you and i know you're gonna come back and say you own this and got that and own that and and, and got all these things and 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 you know <clears throat> and we'll get a freaking camera and take some pictures and put it on youtube or something i know you drive a maserati and got a limo in the driveway but you ain't got a camera I know. All the same old stupid shit that all the that, that folks come on here that always got something negative to say. Always trying to critique shit. And you ain't in no spot to be critiquing nothing. Who is you? Stupid shit. So if it wasn't for me behind the scenes after two thirty, plotting and planning, putting the work together, making sure the money's right. Making sure the making sure the equipment's right. Making sure the, the invoicing and the routing is correct and efficient. That's what I do. And that's why we make good money in a, in, a, in a short period of time. Not that I'm thinking of that. I'm thinking more like, okay, I want to get done and go home and eat my Sammy. That's what I'm thinking about. And know that I made this much money or that much money whatever I determine we need to make not what you determine I need to make because you ain't got no idea what I need to make in order to run you ain't got no idea how much money I save on fixing equipment and stuff because you on granny's couch hoping praying wishing dreaming to be like Ray Ray Put me in, coach. That's all you're thinking about. Put me in, coach. Coach ain't putting you in, dude, because you a loser. Yeah, that's you. That's you. So take notes, man, instead of critiquing. Is your whole life like that? Or you're just a sad human being? Broke. A broke, sad human being. That's even worse. You just want to be. You want to be like this. You want to be. You want to be like uh, a lot of us lawn care guys out here that are living on the land. That are truly living on the land. That are in the grind every day. That are banking our money and uh, pulling the trigger on things that we need as we go and learning something every day. What'd you learn today? I learned a lot. I did. So, you can you can come in the comments with your sidewinder uh, tactics and all. Talking about we quit. We don't quit. We don't, we don't quit at nothing, man. You, I mean, you, you don't even know me, dude. Quit. There ain't one quit bone in me, man. And anybody that watches the channel knows that. They see that on the freaking daily quit at two o'clock three o'clock we are completed the task at hand at two thirty three o'clock there's a difference so 
you can't make it what it's not <laughs> you just hating and that's okay it's okay there's a lot to hate about Ray Ray I get it I understand I know I've been dealing with haters all my life man dime a dozen dude dime a dozen I laugh at you because I know what you are I know that you're just a hater you're just a wannabe and you can't stand it that somebody might that somebody might have figured out a better way to do things that somebody might be happy in what they're doing that somebody might be making more money than you that somebody might be better than you so put that in your freaking pipe and smoke it Y'all know, same time, Tuesday. Peace out.